Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I'm here with Damien, and Damien is one of our inspectors in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we got a great Ask a Ninja from Lance in Flintville, Tennessee. He wanted to know about, uh, he's got a, a humidity problem. I guess he had the crawl space encapsulated. They didn't do everything the way they were supposed to. There was also some water intrusion. So we're gonna answer his question. Stay tuned. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to indoor air quality, crawl space waterproofing, and encapsulation. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Also, follow us on Facebook, check out our DIY store, and our franchise opportunity. So we got a question from Lance. I'm going to read the question to you, okay. and then we'll talk about it. All right. Hello, I just purchased a house, and the house was already encapsulated, so I was excited. First of all, that's, that's pretty cool, right? Because people always ask me, does encapsulating you know, add value to the home or whatever. But this was a buyer that was excited about the house being encapsulated. So they probably knew that, that the job was, uh, that the crawl space was healthy. So that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the builder did not put a drainage system in which caused the crawl space to have standing water. I got the problem fixed along with treating the mold. I am at 69% humidity in my crawl space. Does the air vent in the picture help or make it worse? And just so you all know, this is uh, an air vent that was installed into the HVAC system. Now, I'm not a big fan of the HVAC uh, lowering humidity in crawl spaces because uh, whether it works or not, uh, many different factors. Okay, first of all, is the HVAC sized properly to include the crawl space? That's a big deal, right? Because if it's not, and you just add a 1500 square foot crawl space to the HVAC, you just cause that unit to be undersized. Secondly, depending on how warm or cool you like your house, it may not even turn on hardly at all. If you're somebody who's kind of cold natured, you may have the, the AC turned up a little higher and the, it's not kicking on enough to even lower the humidity in the house, much less a wet, damp crawl space, okay? Um, so let's, let's unpack, he said he had mold. Mm -hmm. He also said that, he, that the builder uh, did the encapsulation. So I'm assuming this is a new home that already has a mold issue. So what do you think they had to do if we were doing it? We would do soda blasting and all that. So the encapsulation, what would have to happen to the encapsulation? Well, um, we, we'd probably have to do it, do it right. Yeah. I mean, I'd take out what they did and um, do it the Crawl Space Ninja way. Yeah, because that plastic is going to get damaged Absolutely. in our process of removing mold because you're going to have to use abrasive sodium bicarbonate to remove that uh, mold visibly off of the wood. It's going to drop all that soda. Nobody wants the soda left on, you know, you're going to have a little bit of soda on the plastic and the ninjas are going to probably be, you know, damaging it, sure. trying to maneuver and all that sort of thing. So uh, the encapsulation sounds like it was done, you know, a little backwards. It should have been one of the plastic should have been one of the last things done. And it also, he didn't have a dehumidifier installed, it sounds like, which caused it to have a mold problem. Right. So that's why maybe if you have or are having your home built, you should talk to the builder about their process in which they encapsulate a crawl space, and that can save you from having to do the work later, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Damien, I appreciate you joining me, and I'm Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.